Patrick, Patrick, I'm going to become the ultimate slapping champion of all Bikini Bottom. Whoa. Hey, me too. SpongeBob, I slipped on my arm kind of funny last night and I can't feel it anymore. Now when I walk it around, it sounds like a sloppy wet fish. Listen. Oh my god, it does. Patrick, did you know you could spin the wheel? Oh, I'm getting another free spin in 17 seconds. Oh, I want to get a free spin. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what I get. What do we need spins for? To slap people? I don't know. To help us slap people. Oh, oh, oh my god. I was so close to that 0.1% rare egg. And I know that's just like a casino thing trying to make me think I'm going to get more. Yeah. Uh, you got to spend money, SpongeBob, so that way you can get it. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of gifts I can claim. Oh, wait a minute. It's my free spin. I got another free spin in 12 hours, but I'm not playing this for 12 hours, so... No! Bam! Hey, I just got another spin, too. Let's see what it is. Oh! Oh, I'm opening a cactus egg. I got a common fox. I cannot believe how close I was to that point one. I'm literally on the line. Yeah, I was on the line too, but that's just how they make you want to pay more. Yeah, what a load. What a load. Where can I, I want to use my potions. There we go. It's in the shop. I'm doubling my wins for the next 10 minutes. Yeah, I doubled everything. I just drank all my potions. I don't care. I don't care anymore, SpongeBob. I got a sloppy wet fish hand. Slappy wet fish hand. Jesus Christ. Sounds like I got a big, like, salami log and I'm slapping it down on a table or something. <laughs> oh, Patrick, that's weird. This dummy doesn't exist? What do you mean? Of course it exists. Yeah, that's what I'm saying for me, too. It didn't make any damn sense. Yeah, of course it exists. It's right in freaking front of me. Yeah, who do they think they are? Sloppy wet salami fish hand. I'm gonna slap this nerd across the face. I'm slapping him, too. Ha <laughs> ha Eugene, you're a loser. I'm slapped by my sloppy wet fish hand. Hey, that's Mr. Krabs' dog's name. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Krabs' name. I just opened up a dog and I was thinking about saying, Mr. Krabs, let's say Mr. Krabs' dog. <laughs> Mr. Krabs' dog. That's Mr. Krabs' dog's name. Yeah, that makes total sense. I'm gonna slap this fat guy. I don't care if I lose. Here, take my sloppy hand. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm actually, like, not that far off. What if pirates had salami legs instead of pig legs? Oh, man. I wonder if they could get the one piece. What? They gotta get the one piece. Oh, hey. Oh, no, I don't get an offense for that. How do you get the one piece? I, I didn't know the one piece was something attainable. Yeah, it's the one piece. It's the treasure. You gotta have salami legs for it or something. If you made it this far in the video, comment the one piece is real in the comments. Bye! Yeah! The One Piece is real! It's so real! Yay! I got a pet! Let's see what it is. Uh, it's a monkey! I'm gonna slap. I'm gonna slap some more. SpongeBob, this is my favorite game. Did you know that? I love this so much. Do you? I'm loving it too. I'm Mick loving it. I bet you don't love it as much as me. My sloppy, fat, wet salami hand loves it more. Dude, I'm beating the hell out of the gamer guy and his leg is detaching from his foot. Oh, nice. You should whack him with it. Thinking about it. Hey, I can get a gift. Oh, uh, we're gonna get another slap hand. Okay, works for me. I'm opening a cactus egg. I got a rare monkey. Whoa, a rare monkey. Oh man, Patrick, I'm getting 108 slaps per slap. Oh my god. That's so many slaps. I'm not getting anything close to that. I'm getting like 24 right now. 24. 24. This dummy does not exist. You, you, I know it exists. It's right in front of me. I can see it. Yeah, you're literally slapping it. They're just trying to gaslight you. Yeah. Just like my ex-girlfriend. I'm gonna slap this fat guy again. Patrick, I have enough to get 125 wins worth of a frozen egg. Whoa! That's a whole lot of egg! It better open up. I got a legendary frost hydra. Oh! I just got stupid monkeys. Hey, where can I get uh, an eggs? Oh, I see. Over here. You gotta come over here. Oh. I don't get enough trophies for that. I wonder how much I'm going to get now. Uh, how many do I get from the gamer again? Oh, I'm getting 185. Wow, I went up like freaking 70 hits. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to auto slap this gamer and get points. Sounds good. Getting the gamer is pretty easy to get up to 125. Slap, slap. Slap. Hey, I have gifts I can claim. All right, only one. Oh, I even got 100 hand strength for that. Well, that wasn't worth it. Oh, 
Hey, how much is the hundred one for the pets? What? The hundred dollar, hundred trophy pet one. 125 trophy. Okay, cool. I got enough. Uh, I'm going to keep slapping for a little bit longer, though. I got legendary on the first try, so it was totally worth it. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely got to try. SpongeBob, what's your favorite video game? Ever? Yeah. I like Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Tonkeys on the GameCube. I've played that over 200 times. Jeez. Yeah, I have, like, a really weird addiction to that game. Like, it ain't anything special, but I just really love the gameplay. I get to, like, make things. That's, like... They had three console Neutron games, and that was the only one you actually got to be Jimmy Neutron and would do Jimmy Neutron things. The other ones were just like, you could have slapped any other character on it, and it just would have been a 3D platformer. I know my cousins had one. I think it was based off the movie, the like the very first movie. Yeah, that one I tried playing, and it just I, I couldn't get the hang of it. It just was it was very poorly made. I don't yeah, I don't remember it being very good. No, that was like shovelware all the way. Uh, I got a legendary frost hydra. What's your favorite game of all time, Patrick? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's too many. Okay, but if you had to pick three, what would you go? Oh, man. That, that's a little more doable. Uh. I know at least two I would go with. I'd go with Twonkies, Luigi's Mansion on GameCube, and then it would come down to probably one of the Nicktoons Unite games. I really like that series, too. I was, I was huge on crossovers growing up. Jimmy Timmy Power Hour started that shit for me. Oh, yeah, I really like those. Those were fun. Probably, say, like, the three that instantly come to mind are, like, Donkey Kong Country 2, Bloodborne, and Elden Ring. Those games are just so freaking good. I never played Elden Ring. I've heard good things. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. What, what is it exactly, like? What happens, or what is the game style? It's like a third-person action RPG. You kill a lot of hard bosses, and you get points to level up. You get to choose what stats that you want to level specifically, so you can make, like, different character builds and stuff. I thought you weren't that much into uh, RPGs. I'm really not. I, I, that's the weird thing. But like, I guess action RPGs are different. Uh, I love them. What, what makes it an action RPG? Well, you get to control it. It's not like turn-based crap, you know? It's the turn-based stuff that I don't really get into that much. Gotcha, gotcha. But like, you know, with like Dark Souls and Elden Ring and shit, like, you get to run around and be in the action. Like, it's your actions and inputs that matter. It's not like... Well, I'm gonna use this move, and it'll do this, and then I gotta wait for the other guy to do his attack. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, that seems fun. Yeah, I love games that kick my ass. Maybe I have to get Elden Ring and play that. It's so much fun. It's hard. It's really f***ing hard. Really? Oh, yeah, Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, those are all, like, really hard games. What's Bloodborne? I never even heard of that one. Oh, it's it's by the same people who made like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Uh, it's a PlayStation exclusive. Oh, so I can't play it on my computer? No, unfortunately not. Which PlayStation is it exclusive to? PS4. Okay, I don't have one of those, but I bet one of those is cheaper and more attainable than a 5. Yeah, yeah, it is. I might have money, but I ain't made of money. Yeah, true. I had enough for a Steam Deck, and that made me happy. They are really good, but I'll tell you, they're, like, definitely something of an acquired taste. It, it, it's, you really gotta get into it. You gotta, like, figure it out. But once it clicks, once those games click, oh my god, it's some of the best games ever. So here's the thing, like, I never was really into RPGs. Um, I did like Mario and Luigi, but even then I was like, yeah, I could live without them. But then I played Miitopia and that shit, oh my god, I don't know what it was about that game that was just so fun to me. But I really got into Miitopia. I played that demo to death. I even left my 3DS on. Because, you know, in demos on 3DS, they only allow you to play it 30 times. Oh, so yeah. I would leave it on, plugged in with the demo running, just so that way I didn't have to leave the game. Oh, just so yeah. I could keep playing it before, because they released a demo before the game actually came out. And that was like the best RPG I've ever played. I've never played it, but I've heard really good things about it. Oh, God, it was so good. Oh, my God, so good. I can't wait for them to eventually come out with some sort of sequel because, oh my god, it's so good. Hopefully they do. Was that one that they brought to Switch, too? I think they did, right? Yeah, that's the one they brought to Switch, also. 
it was really good on both systems. Highly recommend either or. You know, I really hated it when they killed the 3DS because that was like my favorite system ever. 3DS and GameCube are like hard to top for me in every way. 3DS is pretty cool. I, I have a hard time picking my favorite, but it's probably GameCube. The nostalgia I have for that console, I, I loved GameCube. Nothing feels better in my hand than a GameCube controller. GameCube controllers are amazing. Ever since they announced that uh, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door remake, I've been thinking about trying to play that, but I'm like, I should probably just wait for the remake. I've always wanted to, and I think I've played a little bit of it, but I never beat it. No, I never did either. Paper Mario is one of the few RPGs that I also like. I, I played Origami King to the end. I liked Origami King because... I like the turn-based strategies, stuff that was, you know, yeah, I, I, did you play Origami King? I haven't played anything past, like, Super Paper Mario on the Wii. Uh, I played Sticker Star on 3DS, I just could not beat the final boss. I, I, uh, I, I tried everything I could, I would make it, like, almost to the end, and he had, like, three different health bars, and I was lucky I even made it that far, I swear. Oh, wow. But then, um, uh, on the Origami King... I did beat that game, and it was really good, and what I liked that was different about it was you got to line up, like, in a circle. Like, you had a radius. You had to set up your enemies in a certain way that you could attack them all at the same time. Or, you know, you had to plan out differently if someone was coming from a different angle. It was, it was actually, like, really hard, but it was, like, really creative and a really nice spin. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. I've only ever heard, like... Not so good things about any of the games that came after Wii. So I just like never really bothered with them. I'm sure they have their merits, but you know. I mean, I never really got super into the other Paper Marios either. I feel like I'd have a whole new appreciation for them if I tried them today, but uh, I just haven't yet. Nah, I feel that. I feel that. There's been plenty I want to try, but I never heard any good things either. But then again, I really actually did enjoy significantly the Paper Marios that I've played in my time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got the Toxic Warlord. Patrick! What was up? Slapping the crap out of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. That's what I'm about to do. Take this. I'm gonna slap you. Wait, watch out, stone. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? I'm gonna smack him. Smack him around. You know something I didn't ever get into, like, ever? Sonic. Really? I don't think I've ever played a Sonic game except maybe like one of the originals, but like on a digital collection or something like that. And I was like, wow, this kind of is kind of sucky. Oh, I think a lot of people who didn't really grow up with Sonic kind of feel that way. I've heard that a lot. I, I grew up on it. I really like the Sonic games, but most of them are shit. But there are a couple really good ones. Like the classics, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 are really good. The adventure games are pretty decent. I've only seen the adventure games on like the real-time fan dubs, if you ever seen those. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't really watched them. I know what you're talking about. No, that shit was so funny. That was the only reason I got it for like my GameCube emulator. And even then, it was like, what am I doing here? No, I really liked those games, like, especially Sonic Adventure 2. That was my jam. I, I don't know, I was a big Sonic kid. Uh... Not so much nowadays. It's weird, I still buy all the games when they come out, but I usually just kind of finish them and I'm like, oh, that was mediocre. Wow, that's kind of lame. That's kind of disappointing. They're all just kind of meh. Even the newest one, like, people were rock hard for it. I'm like, it's okay. Far from the best open world game I've ever played. What is the best open world game you've ever played? Elden Ring! It's open world and an RPG and super hard and super amazing, as what everyone says. It's one of the best games I've ever played, hands down. Everyone says it was more than deserving of Game of the Year last year. Oh, absolutely. I would not have picked anything else. Well, I guess I really have to pick up a copy of this thing. It's so good. I love it so much. Well, hell yeah. Okay, then I'll take that. It's hard though, SpongeBob. I'm warning you, it's hard. Well, I could do as a challenge. See, the thing about me is I play a lot of the same games over and over and over. I mean, I literally got a Steam Deck just so I could play my GameCube games that I've beaten 15,000 times on the go. And all the Batman games I've beaten 15,000 times on the go. Just because I really love them. I'm not really one that branches outside of the comfort zone very much. That's why my life is the way it is sometimes. Because it's not just games. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. 
Oh my god, there's such a leap between the stone and the Giga Chad. Wow. Patrick, I have 314,000 hand strength. Oh man, that's a lot. I've got 106,000. I need more. I've got a lot of really good pets. I keep somehow getting like the legendary ones out of these things. And I, I don't understand it because I'm not paying the win for those. I'm paying the win for what I'm slapping though. Yeah, I'm not getting the best ones. I'm just getting kind of okay ones. Let's see if I can take down this guy. Try to take down the Giga Chad. I'm gonna auto fight the stone. Oh my god, I'm beating the Giga Chad. Oh, nice. I got 600 wins for that. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I'm gonna stretch my butt. Uh. Stretch it open? What? Although, uh, you know, between Elden Ring and Bloodborne, I would have a hard time telling you which one I like more. I love them both for different reasons. They're so good. Hey, Patrick, come up here and slap me. Oh, uh, okay, hang on. I gotta finish slapping the stone. Uh, you look like you're slapping the air from my angle. Oh. <laughs> look like you're just batting a fly away. Okay, I'm relieved of rock duty. Oh, uh, can we not fight each other? Wait, maybe over here, over here. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna slap my shit. Probably. Oh, uh, uh, under, under, oh, oh, now you're going under, down, Patrick. Under. You're going down. Yeah. Oh, I won! I'm all out of smack material. I got plus wins for that. Go figure. Oh, uh, can I? Nope, I can't slap that yet. Whack, whack, whacky, whack, 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 whack. I wonder what the strength of the final boss is. I don't know. Okay, he has 1.3 million and I have 342k. Okay, that's great. That's, that's, that's absolutely stellar. Weird how he's not really that much stronger than the Chad. No, mm, I'm pretty sure the Chad had 70,000 strength. No, Giga Chad has 965k. No, that's what's recommended you have. Oh yeah, 70k. What the heck? Why do you need so much to face him then? I don't know, it seems kind of unfair. I was almost able to stand up to him with 118k. How come we're towering him in strength, but yet he still won't go down? I don't know. Very weird. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get the devil egg. Let's see, give me something good, please. No, of course you wouldn't. Why would you? I'm coming to find a mythical. I need to build up my strength so I can take down the boss. Because I want this video to end. Oh, why did we do this to ourselves? Curse you, Upchucks! Have you subscribed to the Upchucks? I haven't. I want them to staple my pubes to my nips first. They keep saying they're going to do it. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Waiting every night. They don't keep up with their promises. Maybe they're not worth subscribing to. They certainly don't make it seem that way. Yeah, they can't fulfill their promises, so, you know. They don't deserve my business. Nope, nope. All right, this better give me the greatest slaps in the world. Well, it definitely brought up the number. I'm just over here smacking this thing. Smack, 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 smack. I'm making 617 a slap. Oh, my gosh. I'm making 144. Big difference. Yeah, my pets suck. Come on, guys. Can't you be better? Why are you a disappointment? Oh, my God. I think I can beat the Giga Chad. Oh, I just really got to click. Oh, oh, this was a mistake. Come on. Oh, God. This is awful. I can't stop. Get back at me. Oh, forget it. It's not worth it. Just slap the shit out of me. Holy crap. I could have beat him if I clicked for like a whole other minute, but I ain't doing it. Hey, there's two Billies! Hey, in the Spider-Man game, do you have to collect the Riddler trophies? Because that was something I really didn't like doing in Batman game to beat it. Uh, there's like an equivalent, sort of. Oh. <laughs> there's like a bunch of side tasks that you can do around the city, but... Well, I like the side tasks. I just hate doing collecting all the Riddler stuff to be able to beat them. There's a... Oh, uh... There is something kind of like that, I think. There, there's like a bunch of side things like that to collect in that game, but... It's a lot easier to do, I think, than it was in Batman. Oh, like 247 riddles, man. Yeah, I know. This, sh this shit's nuts. How'd they even come up with all that shit to put in the game? For real. Is there like a way to find them easily, or do you just kind of have to search all over for them? Nah, you just gotta interrogate a bunch of Riddler informants to find them all, but it still requires you to go get them. Yeah, yeah. You know, at least you don't have to hunt around aimlessly, or else that would just be completely unfair. Yeah, that would be awful. And in New Game Plus, it the, the riddles do transfer over it's between New Game and New Game Plus, so that way you can keep going back between the two and you have the same riddle progress at least, so that's nice. Okay. Yeah, there's like a bunch of things to collect in Spider-Man, but 
They're, I think they're pretty much just all on the map. You just, like, can find them that way. I'll have to give it a look. It's really fun. It's pretty good. I don't know if, honestly, I don't know if I prefer the Spider-Man game or the Arkham games, to be honest. They're both really good. I don't know. There's three Arkham, there's four Arkham games, and I really like all four of them. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to beat it out. They're pretty good. They are pretty good. I don't know, I think I've just, I've gotten more into, like, the Marvel side of things over the years, so I think I'm a little biased. I can't do it. I, I just, I can't. Patrick, I don't think we're gonna be able to take down the king today. No, I don't think so. If you guys want to see us take down the king, and if you enjoy us having these nice little conversation type videos, be sure to let us know in the comments below, and comment king in the comments. Yeah, be a king. Like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. Yeah, or we'll staple your pubes to your eye holes. <laughs> to your eye holes. Yeah, all those things, and to hit the bell, too. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. See ya, I'm slapping the rock.